yang Hello and welcome to another edition of the DJ Sound Show broadcast from here in London town. Now my next guest today, Mr. Jeremy Orlando, how are you doing? I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, good. I saw you swigging from the bottle on the way in. Here. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm a, a little yeah. bit tired. You had a good night last night? Yeah, very good. So it's a good time in um, in Tel Aviv. Uh, it's one of my favorite clubs actually to play Cat and Dog, so yeah. It's worth it. I mean, and you've just been traveling so much. You've had a great year. Yeah. Uh, you've just done Madison Square Garden. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell us about that. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. I mean, um, Eric put on this this epic show. He it was, I think, three years ago or something he started with yeah. the epic shows. And um, it's kind of when I started working with him as well, when he first did the, the first one. And um, so, yeah, he decided that uh, Madison Square Garden would be a good place to do the third edition. <laughs> And um, he invited me to join him. And I mean, huge honor to be part of it, obviously. Yep. And um, my parents came along, I had a lot of friends there. So it was it was mind-blowing, the whole production and everything. Fantastic. Yeah. Now, obviously, you've been really busy. You've got your Jeremy Orlando, obviously, uh, name that you work yeah. under, under Prider. Uh, but you've also got Dylan as well. How's that going? It's going well. I mean, um, obviously, there's a lot of focus on, on the Jeremy Orlando stuff. But I make... I make a lot of Dylan stuff and uh you know it's it's kind of convenient because I could be quite selective with with what I put out you know yeah. there's no rushing it you know yeah. um but you know I I always play techno in my set so obviously it makes sense for me to make yeah. some as well um <laughs> but you know I I just love being able to switch between the two and have you know the darker or even the happy progressive yeah. stuff and then get techno in there I feel like it's a it's a good position to be I mean, in I want to talk about this because I feel like you're able to eat your cake, you know, have your cake and eat it as well. Yeah. Because <laughs> the thing is that you're playing SW4, you're playing Madison Square Gardens, you're obviously playing to a lot of, you know, your crowds. Yeah. Obviously, very used to kind of music that's maybe like a little bit more, um, you know, not high octane but a little bit more start, stop, start, stop, Yeah, you know, and you're obviously delivering something else. I mean, how's that transition been for you? You know, because obviously you're playing quite progressive, you're playing techno as well, but you're playing on these main stages. That must be just be so much fun. It is. I mean, it's come pretty naturally to me. You know, um, I've always been inspired by people. I mean, Eric obviously does the same thing, you know, and uh, he's able to make a record like you know, calling me proper education and then make Cyrus D stuff and, and get support from everyone from across the whole, yeah. the whole genre. Um, so I think it's, it's, it's come quite naturally for me to, to play that way, you know, it's not, yeah. not been forced in any way or anything. Um, but you know, you see there are like techno festivals where the main stage is, you know, obviously just techno. Yeah. And, uh, I think it's important as well to show people that they're, there's other music out there. It's not yeah. just. Uh, I mean, do you enjoy that journey of like, yeah, you know, yeah, of and that light and shade? Because I think you know that that pride of sound has definitely got that. Where it's you know moments for your mind and your emotions, but yeah. then also moments. I think you it know, gets, where you could get your. Dance you want to have like a kind of a journey when you play. You know, you don't want to hear the same sound yeah. through the whole set. You know, people are going to get bored with it. And when I play clubs, you know, you play for four hours or something. You can't just play the same same thing over and over again. No. So you gotta, you know, switch it up a little bit. Yeah. So uh yeah, it just kinda comes naturally to me. Nice. Yeah. Well I think that we've spoken enough. I need I think you need to walk over there All right. and weave a little journey of your own. Okay. Awesome. Let's do this. So it gives me great pleasure to introduce Jeremy Alanda here on the DJ Sound Show.
Jeremy Orlando in the mix here on the DJ Sound Show. Jeremy, get around here. What a great mix. I loved it. Thank you, man. Thanks. It. So uh, a lot of your own productions in there? Um, yeah, I tend to uh, to play a lot of my own stuff. I think it um, makes it more interesting, you know? Yeah. Oh, I mean, you know, you've got to get the product out there. Yeah, yeah, you? of course. You know, I'm, I'm kind of bad with releasing stuff. I, I keep a lot of it to myself. Um, but I think it's a good way of, you know, <laughs> standing out a little bit. Yeah. Um, and not putting everything out there for, for people so they got to come to the shelves. <laughs> now, I've been told that you've graduated from the School of Prids from Pride of Friends now. Yeah, yeah, I guess you so could say Prida. that. Yeah, He's kind so. of, um, yeah, it's, uh, it's really nice of him to, I guess yeah. it's his way of saying that, um, you know, I've, I've done my dues and I'm ready for Pride now. Yeah, excellent. And what's the name of that EP? Uh, Jackie. It's a three-track EP with um, Jackie as a lead single and then um, two other tracks. One one that is quite old, actually, but fans have been dying to get it. So yeah. uh, it's called Lauderdale. And then another one called Delighty. They're a little bit more uh, experimental, I could say. Nice. Yeah. Nice, nice. Now, what about your own label? You know, have you felt the yearning to do your own label? Yeah, I have. I have. I mean, I've been saying in a lot of interviews that I'm going to start it soon. And I think people are disappointed I haven't yet. Yeah. Um, but I think I might have been uh, rushing things a little bit too much. I, I feel like you um, need to be at a certain level, you know, where you yeah. can start start a label and uh, have a, like a solid foundation to build upon. I just don't feel Because you must get yet. a ton of promos that sound like you because people yeah. think, this is how you play, <laughs> yeah. so you will play my music. And yeah, of course. So. Um, yeah, it would be great to have like an outlet, you know, and and put out some really good progressive music and like the the darker stuff that I like, you know, that I grew up with, that, uh, that inspired me when I started out. Um, so obviously I really want to help people put yeah. that music out there because I don't think there are that many good labels that labels that fit that sound you know they're yeah I don't know so do you find that you struggle to find tracks that fit with your sound yeah definitely I mean there are some producers out there that that I like um, but it's a lot of it is not for me you know yeah um, so you make your own yeah exactly <laughs> I, I <laughs> that's one thing Eric taught me he was like uh, I make whatever I feel I'm missing in my sets. So yeah. I kind of have the same approach to when I make music. I, I feel like, okay, this is outdated now. I want to yeah. replace it, you know, make something in the similar kind of vibe. Now, I want to talk to you about that creative process because obviously you come from a very musical background, but you also love your technology. <laughs> you? And how do you find that kind of fine line between exploring plugins getting really deep in sound and sort of synthesis and then actually standing back and sort of making a beautiful melodic piece of music well you know i've, I've always loved creating stuff so um i never really thought i could make it you know in music when i was younger um, but I, I played it around a lot with computers and uh obviously you know you're producing on a computer yeah. and when i had that you know epiphany it kind of opened up this whole world to me. So I started, you know, hanging out on forums and just doing a lot of research. And, you know, there's so much info out there. How so, can I make my kick? Really yeah, exactly. Kick. And I, I remember hanging out on this <clears throat> um, this forum by Laidback Luke back in the day. I remember yeah. Avicii was hanging oh, there as well. Oh, is this the one where, like, Steve Angelo was yeah, there? Every, and, like, everyone yeah, everyone was hanging out there. Yeah. And uh, it was pretty cool. And everyone was really helping out. You know, they learned, yeah. they taught us how to, um, to sidechain and all these basic stuff. And... I guess I learned a lot from that, you know, I didn't really go to yeah. a school, engineering school where you learn how yeah, to... Yeah, but they'll tell you how to, like, you know, map 17 microphones yeah. around a drum kit, you know, which, while it might be very useful, I don't, I don't for, know for what you do, it's maybe not. Yeah, I don't think it's as interesting either, you know, if someone's teaching you this is the right way to do it, you know? Yeah. Instead of finding your own kind of way and... Exploring uh, sounds, doing yeah. stuff with equipment that you're not meant to do. Exactly. Like, you know, when you get that mistake that just sounds great. Exactly. Now, unfortunately, we're galloping towards the end of the show. Um, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, how can people find you? 
All of those, I guess. I okay. um, I think SoundCloud is the best place because I put out a lot of mixes there where I have yeah, all the unreleased nice, stuff. Yeah, you've got a nice amount of stuff. Yeah. And you're giving away a lot of tracks. Yeah, I have. Generous. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's easier doing it that way, you know? Instead of... Um, you don't always have to put it out on labels, you know? Yeah. I'd rather give back to fans and give them what they want. And it's just easier. You just put it up on SoundCloud and it's there for them yeah. to download. But you're still in their DJ boxes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly. Well, it's been a real pleasure having you on the show. Thanks Thank for having so me, man. Thank you so much for coming. Thank and, you. Um, what a great mix. Thank you, man. Awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much to Jeremy Orlando for coming here on the DJ Sound Show. See you next time. Goodbye. 